Hey y'all, what's going on? Hank from Voltage Studios. Wanted to make a very, very short video on how to measure your steel profile uh, to make sure that you can get the values that you need to input into the fusion model. And so once you go to export either the assembly parts or the uh, print and see uh, frame parts, you have exactly what you need. So obviously the first thing you're gonna need is your steel. Um, easiest thing to do is just take one of your small roller blocks then you're going to need your radius tools um, that you're going to print out. These just have various numbers on them that correlate to the radius of the steel. And then once you have that, you're going to print out a calibration block um, that you can test fit in your steel. And of course, you're going to need a set of calipers. You can either use digital calipers or regular calipers. Um, you just need some way to measure this. So <clears throat> turn it on. Make sure that you're zeroed out and that you're in millimeter. So for this, we're going to go ahead and measure the short side of the steel. And 51.15, I think it was about 51.3 or so average. So I'm pretty sure for mine, I used 51.3. And then for the long, uh, uh, 76.6. .6. I think that I ended up using 76.8. So 76.75, I think I ended up using 77, 76.8. And then you're also going to need your steel thickness, which is mine. Three millimeter. Yeah. So three millimeter. Um, those are the values that you're going to put into there along with the radius. So you just want to take your radius tool and see which one fits the profile the best. Here, I'll try and get a better view of this. So you wanna see which one fits the profile best. That's a six. Um, I'm pretty sure I did go with a six. Yeah, so that was a seven. This is a six. And then that was the five. The five doesn't quite fit it. Um, if you're kind of in between sizes, go up to the next size. Um, that's what I see. and. Once you print out, you know, this calibration block, you can go through and if you're a little bit off on one measurement or another, <clears throat> make minor adjustments, go ahead and print it back out and then uh, get your fitment. So let's see, put mine on. So, I mean, this is what I was looking for with mine. You know, it's a pretty good fit. I'm happy with the way that this fits. Um, I had printed out some of the other parts and printed it up to here, but this is what you want to look for as well. I mean, it just slides right on there. There's not a huge amount of excessive play. It's kind of funny. I think if I take this and I flip it, it actually fits. Yeah, there we go. It actually fits better onto one side. And of course, I've taken this in and out, in and out, in and out a bunch of times. So mine's a little bit looser. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what you're looking for. And... Um, you know, you can go from there. So another thing that I'm doing with this, um, I went ahead and through, went through the wiki and pulled every single page uh, into a PDF viewer. So uh, the way that works with mine, I use Bluebeam. I just went um, onto the page that I need it, right clicked, hit print, selected Bluebeam PDF, and then I exported and saved it to there. Once I did that, I was able to just really easily compile every single one of these together. Um, I took out some stuff that I didn't need um, in some of these sections, but um, you know, left all the important stuff. I wanted to have a nice uh, hard copy of this while I was going through this build. Um, it was only about $23, so I do suggest this. It is nice to have a you know a manual in there as well. So if you're one of those people who you know you know you're going to be running back and forth to the computer, back and forth, back and forth, save yourself a little bit of a headache. Go ahead and print this out, and I mean you'll have everything just right there at your fingertips. I mean just step by step, and then also this way. You know, of course, you can do it electronically as well, but, you know, it's nice to have a, a highlighter and a pen off to the side. And so as you're going through this, you can make notes um, or if you change anything or anything like that. So uh, you can reference back to it later on. So, I mean, tons and tons of great information in here. But like I said, manual is going to be a huge help to me. And so that's why I went for it.